This video is an overview of how to navigate the patient chart. Writing up a clinical note will be in a separate training video, so stay tuned for more information. There are two ways you can get to a patient chart. First, you can always search by a patient name by clicking into the search bar in the top right, and then clicking the patient's name. If you already see the patient on your calendar here, you can click on the appointment to open the appointment details screen, and from here, you can click the pencil edit icon, and this will open up a new tab to take you to the patient chart. Here in the patient chart, you'll see there is a menu on the left-hand side, as well as tabs across the top of the page. In this demographic section, Take a look at the important tab where you have important information saved for the patient. Demographics will be filled out by the patient during their iPad check-in process or on onpatient.com. In another video, we went over how to create the custom demographics. And you can also save their preferred pharmacy down below. Make sure if you make any edits in the patient chart to always scroll down and click Save Demographics at the very bottom before moving on to the next section. Enter in the patient's insurance information here. You can run real-time eligibility check. Please note this is a feature available for our Hippocrates plans and above, so if you're interested, contact our sales team at sales at drkrono.com. You can also take a look at flags. Here on the left-hand side, you can take a look at the patient's past and future appointments, as well as see any associated clinical notes. The clinical dashboard will give you a quick snapshot overview of ongoing problems, allergies, and medications for this patient. In the document section, you can review documents that are saved for the patient, and you can also upload files from your computer. Any clinical photos taken on the iPad EHR will also be documented here. Any tasks associated with the patient will also be documented. And you can also take a look at the patient's problem list, medication list, and allergies list in the patient chart. This information is also made available in the clinical note when you're in the visit with the patient. You can always e-prescribe from the send ERX section. Make sure you have this set up before trying to send an ERX. In the lab order section here, you can write up lab orders to LabCorp and Quest if you're directly integrated with them. And you'll also see the lab results for those two labs posted here. For Health Gorilla, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see the Health Gorilla application down at the very bottom of your menu. Take a look at other sections of the patient chart here, including immunization records, growth charts for your pediatric patients. To invite your patient to connect with you on onpatient.com, our patient portal, come here to the onpatient access section of the patient chart. Make sure you have the identifying information saved for the patient as well as their email address, and then click Enable Patient Access. This will send your patient an email invitation to verify their identity and activate their on-patient account, and then they'll be able to connect with you. So that's a quick overview of the patient chart. Feel free to go ahead and create your own fake patient, add some information, and explore the patient chart.